We've done the dark side of Disney. We've done the dark side of Chuck E. Cheese. We've done the dark side of movie theaters. Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats, put them in an upright position, lock your tray tables. <laughs> it's time to venture to the dark side of airlines. Oh, I don't want to hear this. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> All right, so Mo sent me an article from Medium that's going to kick it off, right? Okay. And these are just some stats for you guys before I get into the stories of people's airline horror stories on Reddit. If you're in the industry also, if you're a flight attendant or you're in the industry, there's something you know we should avoid. There's a dark side of airlines you want to share. We'll put you on the voice disguise or one eight five five Birch show I heard this one years ago that sometimes flight attendants will use the coffee machines in hotel rooms to clean their panties. <gasps> Ew. Like your own little yep. personal washing machine? Uh, yep, and you just put it right up there in the coffee machine, and then the next person that comes in is making coffee, and <laughs> the residue from what was there before oh, okay. is right there in the coffee machine. Okay. That's, that's more of a dark side of hotels. <laughs> uh, well, it's being done by flight attendants. <laughs> Very true, but still. <laughs> so this is all has to do with the airport and airline, uh, air, airlines and airplanes. So Mo sent me an article from Medium. I'm I not don't gonna, know why, as much as I travel. I know, right? <laughs> and so I, I'm not going to go into the details. If you want it, we'll share it. But just a couple of little notes. There is no most secure seat. So no matter what they tell you on the plane, there is no most secure seat. Aren't, isn't it, it's not more secure in the front of the plane than the back of the plane? According to this article, there is no most secure seat. <laughs> if that plane is going down, you're going down. <laughs> the yeah. toilet is hardly the dirtiest location on, uh, in, the, mm -hmm. in the airplane. Really? It's your tray table. Style. Oh, the tray yeah. table has the most germs. You know what I was thinking also is not yeah. only the tray table, but you know now the screens... Mm -hmm. That are on, you know, that you can watch yeah. movies on. I mean, you got your fingers all over that. Tray table was number one. The knobs up top, yeah. the vents oh, yeah. were number wipe, two. Wipe all that down. And then the headrest was number three. Um, that plastic wrap, uh, wrapped blanket may not be brand new. <gasps> Just know that when I you use it. I always wondered that. Yeah, man, I'm nasty. Uh, pilots can occasionally fall asleep at the controls. The turbulence is increasing. Uh, the water isn't exactly pristine. Bottle watered, fine. They always say, mm -hmm. and flight attendants have told us for years, yep. don't get the coffee because the water filter system on the planes hasn't been cleaned and God knows when and you don't want to know like what's like hanging out in those pipes. Is there a pilot that can confirm that there are no um, air traffic controllers at airports after like 10 o'clock? The planes basically are communicating with each other, but there's nobody at the airport going, uh, DL-103, uh, you don't have clearance to come into the... Uh-uh. All the pilots are talking to each other. Wow. I don't know. I think. All right. So some of the stories I got from Reddit. Abby, this one's going to break your heart. From Undisclosed Airline, they sent a passenger's cat, two of them, from uh -uh. Toronto to San Francisco without him. Uh-uh. So they were stuck in San Francisco, and then they told him he had to be the one to go pick him up. Oh, damn. <laughs> um, wow. They were in the underbelly, like they were in the cargo portion of the plane. I don't want to picture it. And so they Poor just kitty. Get, they got they got lost. That's not really done much anymore, right? Now you just bring your cats on the plane. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, another undisclosed airline forgot to put a passenger's wheelchair on his flight from New York to Dublin. Oh, come on. <laughs> so the man spent two days in on vacation without his wheelchair. Wow. That's heinous. Like the airline wouldn't just say, hey, take this one for two days until we find yours? He even thought about flying back home to collect a spare one. Oh, you suck. What? Whatever airline that is sucks. Air Lingus. Uh, Air Lingus. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a real airline. No, it's not. Air Lingus yes, is a real it's, airline. It's an Irish yeah. airline. Yeah. No joke. Yeah. You're going to need Air Bring Us. <laughs> well, no, we still, it was not Air Lingus. Okay. It was somebody else. Um, this person shared on Reddit, we had a school group of young children sitting in the front of the plane on takeoff. One little boy leaned over into the aisle and threw up and the puke rolled and splashed <laughs> down oh, the aisle. Oh, oh. You stop it. Uh, Just uh, all the way to the back alley. Uh, uh, this one made me chuckle. My wife farted. It stinks so bad that I could hear people complain three rows back. <laughs> she pretended to be asleep. An air hostess walked up to me and started blasting me with some flowery air purifier. I got the full blame for it. <laughs> no. Someone saw a grown man with his shoes off biting his toenails. Uh -uh. Oh, stop. No. <laughs> Do that at home. Uh -huh. Can I pause you for a millisecond? Sure. Uh, this is answering my question that there are no air traffic controllers like after 10 o'clock uh, and all the pilots have to talk to each other in order to make sure they don't crash into each other. <laughs> Amanda, is this right or not? You are incorrect. Incorrect. Thank oh. Oh, okay. Thank God. How do you know this? <laughs> so 
so my neighbor actually works at the Atlanta um, airport as an air traffic controller, and he works overnight. He works overnight. Okay. So there's somebody there. He's there. I just want to get one confirmation. Mark, is that right, that there are air traffic controllers at the airport until it closes? Uh, Only at the busier ones. At the smaller VFR towers where you can land and see and be seen, uh, there are nobody usually there after 10 o'clock. What they do is they dial in a discrete frequency, and all the pilots can hear one another, and there are certain points that they have to report. So basically, it's it's all talked to one another. Pilots talk to the other. They know who's on the runway, the short of the runway, who's getting ready to get on the runway. It, it's all worked out. So a big airport would be like Atlanta, but what would be in the size of an airport, a city, where there wouldn't be an air traffic controller after 10 o'clock? Like Lexington, Kentucky, with like three little gates. Okay, let, let, let's, uh, no, you, you guys in Atlanta, uh, Peachtree, the Cobb. Mm-hmm. Probably nobody there after 10 o'clock. Okay. There you go. All right, so the bigger airports, yes. Smaller airports, nah. Okay. Um, somebody saw another person change a baby's diaper on the tray table. Oh, come on, man. No. On the tray table? <laughs> uh-huh, which is why you need to wipe it down. And here's your last one. Okay. I had a colostomy bag for about six months oh. to let my colon heal after an accident where it was perforated. <laughs> I fell and was impaled on a barbed wire fence post. <gasps> on a plane. No! Coming off painkillers. Don't you do it! So I had a really bad diarrhea. <laughs> it turns out my colostomy bag is not attached correctly. <gasps> where the hole in the gut is not lined up with the hole in the bag. I'm dozing off when I feel warmth. Uh-uh. And smell this horrible smell of fresh crap. Nope. My colostomy bag leaked copious amounts of liquid S all over the front of me, stunk up the cabin badly, had to go into the bathroom and try to get S off my dress shirt and slacks. Take it back. Stayed in as long as I could, came out soaking wet and about as embarrassed as I've ever been. Oh my Put it back God. in the bag. Wet. <laughs> I'm hitchhiking to Europe. I'm never taking a flight. The Burt Show.